So this time we're talking about something different. It's another one of my quick reviews from stuff that's actually in my bag that I pay for, that I use on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. And this time, it's these. But in this case, these three. This, if you've been climbing for any period of time, you know what it is. It's your bog standard Gris Gris, which Petzl don't make anymore, which is a real shame. This was made in 2005, so it's 2017 now, so this is 12 years old, and it's getting a bit, it was getting a bit dodgy. Um, you know, it's a good workhorse. I've used it for years and years, root setting. I've used it outside climbing, you know. It's scuffed up, it's dinged up. It's, it's led an abused life. I still use it. It's actually a good size and a good weight, and I really do enjoy um, using the old Grigri. But it's over 10 years old. It's time to go. So what I figured I'd do is I'd talk about these two things. This is your Grigri 2 at 99.95 US dollars. And this is new on the market from Mad Rock. This is the lifeguard, and this is $89 US. Now, we'll go through a number of different facts and things. I've, I bought both of these, and I, and I use both of these. And <clears throat> there's a few things I'm gonna say that you're gonna be like, hang on, you just said you don't like this. But it comes down to a point of personal preference, and I've been using these for a number of months. Um, I bought this one because my original Grigri, Gris, the Grigri Gris 2, I bought this because uh, my Grigri was knackered and it was starting to slip on slip on the rope. Now this, if you buy it in Canada, is $124. This, if you buy it in Canada, is $99. So straight out, you've got a $25 difference in these two devices. Fair enough. The Grigri 2 takes an 8.9 to 11 rope, and so does the lifeguard from Madrock. This one is actually optimized for 9.4 to 10.3. So it actually cuts down your rope range. So it says 8.9 to 11, but it's not. It's actually 9.4 to 10.3. That's what it's optimized for. Three stars for you know 8.9 to 10.4, but then it's like two stars. Not so good when you're using it across the board. This one is good for 8.9 to 11. So straight across the board. Right now, the Mad Rock's winning on price. And it's also winning on rope dynam um, diameter, diameter, diameter. The Grigri, 170 grams. If you're a weight weenie, the lifeguard is 154. Fair enough. This comes in red. This comes in this horrible, they call it yellow, but it's disgusting. It comes in gray and it also comes in turquoise. Um, this comes in red, it's like Henry Ford. You can have your car in whatever color you want, as long as it's black. Or Mad Rock, it's red. That's all you get. The Grigri 2 has a three year guarantee on it, which is pretty good. You know, my other Grigri's lasted me like over 10. This has a lifetime guarantee. So you're saving money and you also have a lifetime guarantee. Um, but what's the real difference? Now, I'll try and show you what it is. Um, how, how it actually goes. Now the Grigri, if you look at it, and I grab a piece of static rope which I have kicking around the house, we all know how these guys set up. You whiz it through the plate, close it up, cinch it, grab a beaner, and you lock it. There's your Grigri, and we all know how to belay with a Grigri. We've done it for years, it's, you know, it's been there, we've had it for over a decade, and it's, a pretty good device. I don't like this. Um, that's the plain and simple fact. I do not like the Grigri um, 2. I prefer the size and weight of the Grigri. Maybe because I'm used to it. Maybe not. But what's really interesting is I don't lead belay with a Grigri because I find it awkward. And the new one, I generally don't like the way the handle works. I, I, I prefer the old Grigri. This is the new Grigri, same as the old Grigri, but it's actually not as good. When you're trying to ply out rope and your lead belay, leg, the Grigri, you've got to, you know, some funny little hand movements and stuff. So with the um, lifeguard from Madrock, it's essentially the same thing. You just whip it through, go, 
and locked. What's really beautiful, this is to your climber, is when this is actually hooked to your harness, this is exactly the same as using an ATC. So if you've learned at a gym to use an ATC, this is exactly the same. What's really nice with this is you can actually give rope much easier, and I'll put a little video up of someone actually um, using it. You can actually give rope with it when you're, when you're lead belaying way easier because this takes a little bit more force to actually engage the cam than the Grigri does. So when you're trying to put rope through to your, to your lead climber on the Grigri, what happens is it generally ends up locking. So you have to do a little thumb wrap and like pull it through, which is a pain. This, you don't have to. It's the same as an ATC. Obviously, if you yank it really hard, then it is gonna, it is gonna lock on you. But I've not had that problem. So this, the Mad Rock Lifeguard, right now, it wins on price, it wins on weight, it wins because I can lead and top rope uh, belay with it, and I don't have to, because normally what I do with my Grigri on my Grigri 2 is if I'm leading, I'd actually switch to an ATC. I, Grigri goes back in the bag or on the back of the harness and I'd switch to an ATC because it's more comfortable for plying the rope out back and forth. Then I ended up getting hold of this and watch the video and it's like, oh, give me a sec. It's, you can actually give the rope really, really super easy when they're clipping. It's actually much nicer to use. Again, it's got the handle for descending and everything else. Um, but it doesn't come back as far as the um, Grigri's handle, so you never find yourself poking yourself in the chest with it or anything else. It actually works really, 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 really super well. So, I don't know what more to say. The Grigri Plus has come out. It's, um, I believe it's $188. Um, I'm not sure if that's US or not. It's 200 grams and it does 8.9 to 10.5 ropes. It also has an anti-panic device. It's actually aimed more towards people that are actually learning learning to climb. Mind you, this is essentially an anti-panic device anyway. Um, and it's going to be interesting because it seems like the Grigri 2, well, the Grigri was big, the Grigri 2 has gone small, and now the Grigri Plus has probably gone a little bit bigger. I haven't seen it apart from images, and I've not got my hands on one yet. I did speak to Petzl and they said they might send me one in, I think it was March or April. Um, so it'll be interesting and I'll come back and revisit the, hey, this is my new favorite belay device for lead and top rope. Um, and I'll actually go back and I'll, I'll talk about the Grigri Plus. Now what's super interesting with this is all of the guys at the gym that root set actually use Grigri's when they're ascending the rope. Um, just for their daily lives and just for their business and they like it. I lent them this. One of them liked it so much he buggered off and went ice climbing. Here's, here's Timo. Um, he went ice climbing with it and loved it. And he actually is buying and most of the routes as a couple of gyms that I've lent this to, like I had it and I'm like, they're like, oh what's that? Oh it's the lifeguard from Mad Rock. Do you want to borrow it? And I, I just let them wander off and use it and, and borrow it for a week or so. Um, they actually prefer it and most of them are actually buying this over their Grigri 2s. Now that says something, when a professional or a group of professional root setters, mainly in Montreal, Canada right now, are actually going, okay I know I bought this and it cost me $124, but this is cheaper and better and nice to use, especially when ascending rope because it's easier to get the rope through. Professional root setters are actually using these because they prefer them to the Grigri. Now that is actually an endorsement that Mad Rock couldn't ask for. It's like, it's unheard of. Root setters are a bunch of finickety, finicky buggers and they generally get set in their ways and um, that's the way it is. So that's another quick what's in my bag. Got my, got my, got my lifeguard which is staying in the bag. This is probably, the Grigri 2 is probably going to go on my desk or I might carry it around in case someone's forgotten a belay device and I'll be like, oh, I'm using this, you can borrow this. My other Grigri, well, that'll be used for slack lines and whatever else because it's old, it's knackered and, um, you know, it was slipping It was slipping on a 10.2, uh, on a new 10.2 rope and I was like, oh, okay, this is slipping, so I grabbed this. And what was really interesting is the gym put new ropes in as well. And this on a brand new rope, on a brand new sheath, was actually slipping as well. Whereas this one, 
was perfectly fine. The other thing I should probably mention is we did do a bunch of um, quasi-suicidal... Um, I put my body on the line and I went to the gym and I took a number of really quite heavy lead falls on both of these devices uh, on the same rope and we went for... Um, I think it was a ten. It was a ten point. I think it was a ten point two rope. Um, and what I was doing is I got sign off and I had to sign some waivers with the gym. Is I actually went through and I was clipping halfway up the wall, and then a little bit higher up, and then I was purposely going to the top of the wall, well above the clips because the clips are like every five or six feet, well above like three clips up, and then just absolutely launching off backwards. Um, got to the same point every single time, and was just launching got to the same set of holds had the same amount of slack and everything else and this was pretty good but this actually caught faster than this did despite the fact that it does play out rope this actually caught faster than the Grigri. -gri. so when my life is at stake and generally the way i climb sometimes it ends up being that way i go with the um, mad rock lifeguard only comes in red because it is a lifeguard and lifeguards do wear red. Here's a picture of David Hasselhoff in some Speedos, just for reference. Um, yeah, Madrock lifeguard. Invest in it. Lifetime guarantee. It's cheaper than the Grigri and it actually works in for what I've been using it for, which is root saying, lead belay and top rope belay. It actually works an awful lot better as well. I love it. Stay pretty.